In this presentation, we will continue on with our comprehensive sole proprietorship problem. We are just going to do for more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Some formatting here so you can work through some Excel formatting, which will be great. And note we've kind of gotten towards the bottom of our worksheet here. And we still have some space, but we're going to go ahead and uh, unhide some of the other cells so that we're working right alongside where we want to work. In other words, if we keep going down below on the journal entries, then we're going to have to do more scrolling in our worksheet. And we want to just practice being as ergonomically, possibly uh, efficient as possible within the worksheet. So to do that, what we've done is we've put some more cells to the right and we're just going to unhide them. How do you know there's something's hidden there? Because if we go A, B, C, D, E, K, L, and so there's something hidden there. So we're going to have to go in there and see where what's hidden and then we will hide these cells and unhide these so that we can work in as efficient a worksheet as we can think of putting together okay so to do that we're going to put our cursor on uh, e here so we see the drop down and then highlight the entire column and then we're just going to select over to l now note all we have to do is select past these hidden cells meaning i could start way over here at, at c and go all the way to M. It doesn't matter because there's nothing hidden between these here, here, but as long as we're covering these cells. So if we go to like from C to, to N, let go, and then put our cursor on the selected area, right click and unhide, then it'll unhide those cells. So these are the cells we want to work on here. Now these cells to the, to the right, hopefully they're all right. They're all good and we don't need to be going back to them at this point in time. So we can hide these so that we can see our description as close to our content as well. Uh, so I'm going to hide these cells now. So we'll put our cursor on B to do that up top, drop down so you can see this little arrow down, left click, and we're going to select over to uh, F, let go, put our cursor on the selected area, right click, and hide. So there we have that. Now, notice the data doesn't go away we didn't delete any if we deleted it all these references that are referring there would turn into reference uh, like an error uh, so this data is still there Th those cells are still there they didn't go away and so we're okay but if we but the data is still there if we see where is this data going to uh, it's going to say look it's going over here to these hidden cells and that's fine so that's what we want if there's an error we'll have to go back and find that if we want to look in the detail of what we've already done in the GL in terms of the, of the transactions that made that, then we'd have to unhide. But moving forward, we should be okay. We have this information as close to our transaction data as possible and as close to our data entry as we can think of. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.